Hey everybody, welcome to a overdue episode of my channel and today I like the whole world has been buzzing about Nintendo's official announcement the Super NES will be released sometime at the end of September something that a lot of us predicted with the announcement slash debacle of the NES Classic Mini Edition now, I chimed into our Central South Florida retro game community, and we had a lot of mixed emotions out there, and that's pretty understandable, considering um, there are still people pissed off about not getting the original NES Mini Classic Edition. So, basically, let's put things in perspective. Um, I think with, if you look at the business side, I think they put that out there as a novelty, and then they found out that, hey, this thing could actually... Um, generate revenue for us. So again, they hold I don't think Nintendo understands the whole supply demand um, Thing I guess they have a little issues with that but um, The cool thing and what I liked is they learned from the mistake of the NES Actually Star Fox 2 which was a unreleased game and came at the very end of the um, Super Nintendo's life cycle was axed in preparation for the N64. Um, I find that to be um, actually interesting and actually a wonderful step in what, you know, the possibility of the future. I mean, will there be a N64 Classic Edition? Will there, you know, so on and so forth. We don't know, but we know that Nintendo has actually listened somewhat to fans' reaction and they're trying to make amends with it. Now, will the NES Mini come back into production? That's a high possibility. I mean, they know that there's certain age groups, certain genres that have an attachment to this particular unit. And of course, the NES being what started this whole, where we are today. Um, but I was checking in on our wonderful retro community. And like I said, there was mixed emotions, people pissed, people excited. Um, I was lucky to get a um, NES Classic Edition. Um, basically, I'd known some people, um, you know how it works. Um, but I actually use old school tactics. I, I remember back in the days when um, Optimus Prime was uh, in demand and the garbage, not garbage, uh, Cabbage Patch Kids was popular and even the Tickle Me Elmo stuff. So it's not always like staying by the computer and clicking the button all the time. Sometimes you actually do have to go out there and um, it's kind of tough if you're, you know, working nine to five and some, you know, kid who lives with his mom, like, you know, is parked out in front of the thing and picks up like five of them and then sells them online. That pisses me off. Like, you know, because that unit could go to someone who has a sentimental connection to it and they'll appreciate a lot more than just see a dollar sign. That's the whole thing that pisses me off, really. Um, but I'm excited about the uh, Super Nintendo Classic Edition. I will be getting one. Um, the benefits of these things are, you know, we all know that these retro systems, they don't last forever. I have a NES and I have an NES Mini Edition. I do play both, you know. Um, I guess um, it's good to have a backup. And the interesting thing is that you know, I did, um, in a previous video, you see that I actually modded mine and added some games. Has it affected me collecting games? I want to be honest, yeah, it has. Um, I don't spend that much effort into NES anymore. Uh, basically, I got the carts that I um, have a connection with and, you know, actually added some more titles that, you know, maybe it was somewhat interested in and I basically added them to my... NES uh, Classic Edition. Um, is that good or bad? Uh, I don't know, but um, I just know that it has allowed me to actually get interested in the GameCube and the Wii and PlayStation 2 um, to focus some attention to those systems that I probably would not have because I was so into the NES and Super Nintendo and you know those prices on those carts are going you know are so high that's why I've told people 
you know, start thinking about GameCube, Wii, PS2, because that's where the value is. Um, if you're into collecting or you want to build up your library, I mean, for the maybe the forty, fifty dollars you spent on one Super Nintendo game, you could get you know ten Wii or, or PlayStation Two games and build your collection that way. And then you know, ten years from now, those titles will be you know in demand. Um, but I'm excited. I definitely want to get a, a a Super Nintendo Mini Edition just to have as I have two Super Nintendo um, consoles. I use one. I have kept another one as a backup. So um, I kind of like having that. With that said, um, you know I'm definitely going to use the Super Nintendo Classic Edition. You know because HDMI has all the other features. But um, let me know how you feel on this page. Are you excited? Are you still pissed off about the Nintendo thing? Uh, what do you? Are you going to be one of those people that are going to be first to pick it up? And is this something that you know is going to make amends for what happened with the NES Mini Classic Edition fiasco? So definitely like to hear what you guys put down. And um, again, if you could hit subscribe, I greatly appreciate it. And once again, this is Shabu RU from the Star Wars room slash game room saying hey and thanks and look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Peace.